So a little bit about complex numbers and converting from rectangular to polar. So if I wanted to enter in 4 plus j5, I would do 4. I said j. I'm letting my engineer show. That's the i button up here. So i5. I don't have to enter in the plus. It just understands that implicitly. Now I could also have done 4, enter, and then i5, and added those together, and it would be giving me the same thing. Now if I convert this from rectangular to polar, you can go up here, gold shift to display, then all the way down at the bottom, there's your rectangular, number 9, and then there's your polar, number 10. So I could hit enter there, or if I remember that 10 is the polar form, and I don't want to hit 1, because that'll change my mode up here, fix. I want to hit decimal, that'll be for the 1, and then 0 for 1, 0. And that changes it to uh, polar format. Now one thing to note here is it does matter what mode you are in, whether it's degrees or radians. So let's go back, 9 was rectangular, so hit 9. So we're in rectangular form. If I change the mode to radians and then do my polar conversion, the root point zero for 10, now it gives me the same magnitude, but it is 0.9 radians instead of the 51 degrees that it was. Let's change that back. In your mode to degrees again. Now there's a couple things you can do at this point. If you were in polar mode, you could take the absolute value, that's blue shift and ABS, and that would give you the the arg the uh, the magnitude here, the 6.4. So that's a quick way of getting it. It's not as useful for me in polar mode as it is in rectangular. So for example, let's just make a copy of that and we'll go back to rectangular mode. Now I can take the absolute value and that gives me the magnitude. So if I'm just calculating the magnitude, say for example like a uh, voltage and I just want the magnitude of the voltage, I don't care about the angle, then I'll go ahead and do the absolute value. Now this also works for the angle. That is the argument up here, this gold shift and argument. And if I recall, it was 51 degrees or so. That gives me the, the argument. Let's shift this down, go back to polar. That's that 51.34 degrees that we got. Again, take the argument. That gives you the, the uh, angle of the polar form of your imaginary number, or your complex number. So that's just a simple overview of complex numbers.